Royal Garden can support over 2,000 species of invertebrates and by providing a variety of homes for them it can drastically increase the number that we see in our gardens. And it doesn't just benefit the invertebrates, it's the frogs, it's the amphibians, it's the newts and even hedgehogs can benefit from them. And you can make them as big or as small as you like. And, but today what I'm going to show you is how to make a one pallet size insect hotel. And these are some of the things that you're going to need. First, a four bar pallet that hasn't been treated with any chemicals or any paint. Sticks, bamboo canes, brick, broken tile, cardboard, cardboard tubing and soil and leaf litter. So now you've got all your materials, the next thing you need to do is to cut the pallet into four equal parts. The easiest way to do this is to get a ruler and measure the off end and get a measurement off there and do exactly the same on the other side. Then what you need to do is draw a line all the way up. Once you've done that, then get a saw and very carefully cut all the way through these pallets into two halves. So once you've finished cutting down one side, you need to do exactly the same process on the other side and then cut it down the middle to get your four equal parts. Choose one of your four sections and go find a good place in the garden to put it. There's three main things you want to consider. You want somewhere with a nice flat secure base, somewhere with moderate shade and also next to other good habitat so the insects can easily get to your insect hotel. So the ground layer is usually made of compost and leaf litter and all the beetles, ladybirds, wood lice will really like the leaf litter because they can use it as cover and shelter in case there's any predators around. And that's the first layer done. What you're trying to do is create lots of different crevices and gaps for stuff like spiders and other beetles and stuff just to clamber their way through and use as hibernation sites over the winter time. sticks in any way you fancy, it doesn't really matter and you can use really any kind of tree but deciduous wood is that tends to be the best. So there you have it, one beautiful insect hotel in your garden. And you should start to see wildlife moving in almost straight away, so keep your eye out over the next couple of days. If you want more information about the project, go onto the Avon Wildlife Trust website and onto the My Wild City pages, where you can download a PDF version of these instructions. And if you've built one of these hotels in your garden, take a picture and tweet it to us at hashtag MyWildCity. We'd love to see what you're up to.